Hi guys, welcome to a Render Spaz video tutorial. Uh, here is part three of our sync, modern sync uh, scene. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to set up our scene for rendering. Um, so right now we got a, a nice uh, sync to work with here and we're just going to set up our eye ray. Uh, and now I'm going to go down and let's pick a camera, we want a standard, and let's get a view that we like. Let's just get something to start off with anyways. So you can see here, um, I'm going to bring this angle, bring this to an angle here, somewhere where it looks nice. You know, uh, it's just uh, something to work with here. Hmm. Maybe around, around here. Yeah, this is not too bad. Okay, set up our lens. I'm going to go with about a 50. Or better yet, maybe a. Mm, yeah, let's try 27. Okay, uh, maybe. There you go, it's an 80. Okay, somewhere around here is nice. Okay, now we're going to set up our uh, save frame. And um, let's go to our render setup. And um, let's see, um, maybe I want to let's go over to extended frame. Okay, I'm going to configure my viewport here. Action save, title save, apply that. Okay, so now um, let's get a light in the scene. This way we can cancel out our default light that Max puts out. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, Photometric uh, Skylight. There it is. Let's turn it off. Okay. Okay, let's go up to our uh, render setups tab, um, let's go to our render, and I'm going to take off one of the GPUs for now, okay, uh, from the 690, and um, the cores, I'm going to, you know what, I'm just going to leave it at 12, okay, uh, and actually, mm, I just want to go to active shade and do the same thing, this way we keep it... Uh, linear across the board here. All right, and take off uh, this GPU as well and leave it at 12. Now we hit active shade and uh, let's see what we get. Well, I can tell you right now we're going to get a dark scene. That's because that skylight uh, cancels out the default lighting. So now we have a light, or now if we add a light in from iRay, uh, we will then start to see something. So let's go over and I'm going to think I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do is going to put an HDR uh, to start getting some light. I'll use that. <coughs> Bitmap. There's, uh, I got a HDR I've created, custom. Uh, and hit OK with that. And now I'm going to make sure just a little bit of settings here. Okay, and we just want to use it in the environmental map. Sorry, environment map. Okay. Hit the render button. We call it the pretty button. And there we go. And now we're starting to see something here. Sure, it's uh, it's all grayed out, but um, very soon we'll have something very nice. Okay. So you can see too as as well as the response of the 690. Um, you can see how quick I'm getting. I mean, small window, but I'm getting a very quick result and uh, I'm really enjoying this card. I just got this card installed and uh, it's amazing. Okay.
I've seen enough there. Let's um, let's take down some of our cores. Let's actually let's just use one part of the GPU of the 690. Also, I want to let's take the cache shadowing off this, just so we don't get any casting shadows. Okay, look at the, now. I'm going to show you too what one GPU out of the 690 can can perform. And look at um, you know, you can see that it just and it's really quick. I mean, this is great for uh, to get your results in your lighting. Uh, it just it's easy to work with. All right. So, okay, let's cancel that out. Let's turn everything back on. All right, let's start to get some uh, textures in. So, I'm going to use iRay Material Texture. Uh, you can also get these on the forms. Uh, if you don't have this um, shader, you can get the shader on the iRay uh, blog form. Okay, so just uh, head over there and uh, pick this up. This is a really great shader for iRay. So I'm just going to make a chrome uh, for our handles and um, plate as well. But in the plate, I'm going to use a brush metal. Because that's, or like a satin steel. So that's like a, yeah, something like a satin aluminum. <coughs> I can use the presets there on the iRay uh, shader preset list. Okay. Turn it there. Let's go down. Let's get some water. This is great to start off getting materials is using these presets. This really speeds up the process. So um, <coughs> now we just got to get the bowl. And it's going to use some kind of glass. Okay, so I'll use a V-ray or sorry, an I-ray material for that. Okay. Let's see here the uh, some light green. This is a good starter one. I'm just going to find out where the green is and we're going to take, uh, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. There it is. It's I'm actually just going to make sure I got these settings. Okay. So down. Just want to check a couple things here. Okay. So here's the green. We're just going to, we're just going to go into a more of a blue or like a eh, bluish tinge. Maybe maybe a little bit more teal. Yeah, maybe somewhere around there for now. Yeah, let's give a let's see what we got so far. That's already looking pretty cool. You can see that uh, the water is looking really nice. Uh, our bowl is looking really good. Um, and the chrome is looking spectacular. So, this is just with a. These are just with the standard uh, presets. We have to do a little adjusting, and that's uh, we can ch change the bowl color a little bit here, go to more darker, a little more s saturation, and you can see the blue coming out. <coughs> you can kind of see the or the teal. You can kind of see it as you as we uh, increase this here. So. That's that's really getting there. That's exactly what I want to see. Okay. Throw more color into the bowl just a bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna darken this just a little more. There you go. Let's take the glossiness down just a bit. Well, not down, but we're just going to kind of play 
highlight the colors here just to get more of a tint. Okay. There we go. That's looking cool. And um, the water looks good on against it. Um, yeah, it's looking, it's looking fly. All right. Okay, so. Now we got to get on to um, getting some more uh, of the materials added in. Um, I'm thinking of now starting with, um, well, let's see here. Our vanity needs to come out a little more. It's obviously uh, too, too short, so we just got to add some more length to it. I'm going to get it just a default. It's not really about the vanity, so the, vanity's, the vanity would be kind of out of focus at this point. So. Uh, I just want to get maybe like a dark kind of wood or something that would um, have a nice contrast off the glass. So let's go with, um, let's bring this, let's set this kind of up, take the glossiness way down. Okay, it's starting to make it kind of more satin. Yeah, we're not going to go with a super shiny vanity, we just want to kind of make it look like it's a dark wood of some sort. Okay, maybe like a cherry. Mm. Yeah. Darker there. You know what? That might work. Right? Okay, now for the uh, back wall. Um, let's see. Now, back wall, I'm thinking, let's go with something dark. Um, and let's give kind of like a metallic, uh, kind of like a metallic feel to it, but with like a wood grain on it. And that's, that's kind of a cool modern look that you'd see in some of these modern homes. Um, something with, let's see here, let's take the glossiness. I like this metallic kind of look, and I need to add some kind of, um, let's see, okay, now we got to add a bump, okay, right there about that there, okay, so, you know what, it's up, I haven't used this uh, shader in a while, so I'm just going to get back used to this here. Um, There it is. It's right in front of my face. All right. So let's go to a wall texture here. This just gives like a little bit of like a wood grain. Okay. Um, show you here an example of what we're looking at here. And yeah, something like this. It kind of looks like a metallic wall, kind of with a just a bit of a brush look with uh, just a wood grain kind of texture. And I want to. Um, Gonna have to use a UV W map, and let's start to um, adjust the texture. Does that want to work there? Ah, let's see what the problem is here. Okay, wait a sec here. Sometimes this doesn't engage. There we go. Okay, let's go to the box mode here. Let's go to mapping the box, and then we're just gonna play with these settings here. Let's get, let's get a nice scaling to the wig drain here, out of the back wall. All right. That's actually that's getting there right there. That's getting pretty close to what I'm looking for. Go here though there. Okay, all right. Let's uh, take a look here. Let's get a preview and let's take a look uh, what we have so far. Uh, I'm going to turn on um, the other GPU. I'm going to go into uh, make sure this is unlimited, and 
and I'm going to just change our filtering a bit. And actually, you know what? Let's go with the let's go with a bit of higher res. 800 by 600 should be good for now. Here we go. That's looking pretty sweet. Um, you see, that's very close. That's what I was. Um, that was what I was visualizing for the back wall. Something that uh, kind of just makes the chrome stand out. Makes the glass bowl stand out. This is very. Uh, it's just nice contrast. I mean, when you take this into some kind of, um, you know, uh, post-processing uh, software, you can really amp this stuff up. So, we'll cancel this out. Let's, uh, let's do some more, a little more adjustments here. I'm going to set up another camera. Go way up. Pull back a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to get another angle here. Whoops. Actually, I want to show you something here with the uh, depth of field and uh, how the GPU rendering is going right now. This is uh, it's got a nice shot, kind of the um, the handle and um, the water, something kind of thrown together here. Let's just kind of set up a let's go with a wider lens, more like a 35. Okay, our vanity is a little short, and our back wall is a bit short, so let's extend that out. Okay, back to our camera. Still a little bit shy there. Pull it out just a bit more. Okay. See here, camera two. Now, if we go down, this is gets really cool here and interesting. Um, just gotta find it here. There we are. We're just gonna enable our depth of field. All right. You can see already in the viewport uh, with Max 2013. This is kind of cool that they have. Uh, you're able to. Um, get the depth of field right through the viewport. This way it gives you a preview before you even hit the render button. So that's alright. Okay our F stop, we're just gonna bring that a bit hmm bring that a bit down. That will really create a shallow depth of field. Um, Let me bring it just a tad bit up. One point eight. I'm just making sure that the uh, focus is pretty much on the handle. I'm just double checking here for our target distance. So make sure that that's kind of that's hitting the the handle, that's my target. Well, alright, let's give this a try. I just want to show you too as well how fast this kind of, this is uh, picking up with the 690. This is, um, well, this is really nice. change the f-stop just a bit. 
maybe do like two, it's a little too shallow. Uh, might even want to go, mm, let's try a five. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's looking pretty good, that's, that's what I want to see. Alright guys, well um, this concludes the uh, third part of the Modern Sync tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something off of it. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, to either message me on Facebook uh, or just even on the website or just even throw me an email um, and I will um, get back to you as, as soon as possible. Um, but I hope that, uh, you enjoyed uh, what you've seen and um, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, and um, yes, guys, uh, looking forward to um, hearing from you and uh, hope you really found this useful. Thank you very much, guys.